the best advice you get for your linkedin profile is to optimize it properly but why because a well optimized linkedin profile is your ticket to boosting your visibility ultimately landing more business or job opportunities and getting the right kind of attention but how can you actually optimize your linkedin profile by including the keywords now what are these keywords and how do you actually know what keywords to include in your profile and above all how do you find those keywords for your linkedin profile ha <sighs> so many questions are there right but did anyone show you exactly how to do that did anyone show you the exact procedure to do so don't worry in today's video i will show you how to find the best keywords for your linkedin profile so make sure to watch the video till the end so without further ado let's start the video but before jumping into the step by step procedure let me just give you a quick overview of what are linkedin keywords and why they are important for your linkedin profile so linkedin keywords are the words and phrases that best describe your skills and experience they are the terms that potential employers or your clients use while searching for the right candidates on linkedin by including these keywords in your profile you can ensure that your profile comes up in search results and get noticed by the right people so in short it's the way to attract the right opportunities and right people to your profile So think about the words and phrases someone might use to search for someone with your skills and experience. And you should use those same words and phrases in your profile so that you can easily found by those potential employers, clients or your customers. So I want you to understand the difference between your professional skills and the services you offer. For example, if you are a freelance copywriter, your professional skill or your primary skill is copywriter. it means you can offer different relevant services using your primary skills so these will be your secondary keywords and these services could include writing various content types such as blog writing press release email marketing and website copywriting and interpreting your client's business and objectives etc etc and why do i want you to understand this because you use your primary skill that is your main skill to introduce yourself in the linkedin headline and in the start of your linkedin bio for example as i just said your primary skill is copywriting so you should introduce yourself as a copywriter you should include the word copywriter in your headline you should not include copywriting services okay and i will talk more about linkedin headlines in the upcoming video which i will be uploading very soon so make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video and for now i want you to just understand the difference between the primary skills and the relevant skills or secondary skills so the primary skill will be your primary keywords and the secondary skill or relevant skills will be your secondary keywords so now let me quickly show you the ways to find the best keywords for your linkedin profile so you can find the best keywords for your linkedin profile without any software by the way by just following these simple tips and after that another step is to identify your primary skills now you have just understood what are the primary skills and what are your relevant skills now it's time to find out your primary skills so you should start with a broad keyword that describe your industry or your field so make sure your keywords are relevant to your current role and target audience let me give you an example here let's say i want to hire a video editor and i will type in video editor or video editing in the linkedin search bar in case i want to hire a freelance video editor or i can also use similar words to freelance including online or remote etc so these are the hints for you so you should actually consider including these kind of additional or relevant keywords 
along with your keyword to make your keyword more specific okay so now after finding out your primary keywords let's move on to the relevant skills or secondary keywords here you need to make a list of all the relevant skills or secondary keywords you want to highlight in your linkedin profile and the best ways to determine which secondary keywords to use are make a list of all the skills you have that are relevant to your industry or your primary skill look at job postings for positions you are interested in and see which skills and experience are required or preferred you can definitely go to linkedin i will show you in a moment how to do that and also try to use a mix of general and specific keywords in order to attract recruiters or potential clients who may be searching for the candidates with your particular skill set for example if you have experience with customer service you could also use terms like customer support or client relations you could also think of different words to use for your industry for example as a content writer i must consider including relevant keywords like SEO optimization keyword research and the specific niche of my writing okay after that you need to use linkedin search features to find out linkedin keywords and here is how take a look at others linkedin profiles in your industry or field this is the first thing you must do i also suggested this thing while creating your freelancing profiles so exploring others profiles will give you good ideas they will give you amazing ideas sometimes i'm not saying to copy them just go and explore so that you will get ideas of what keywords to include in your profile how to craft your linkedin profile bio and how to introduce yourself and how to list your skills and much more so that would be the first step take a look at those linkedin profiles in your industry or field and how do i actually find those people relevant to your industry or your field so it's simple just go and log into your linkedin profile and here in the search bar type in your main keyword like for example social media okay as you can see here it's showing social media and social media in jobs and in groups and here it's showing me other relevant keywords to my search query so let me complete the keyword social media manager okay so hit enter so as you can see here we can see jobs here it's showing me the results of jobs so you can see here there are so many options to add filters here jobs posts people groups courses products schools events companies etc so here as we are searching for people you need to click on people okay let me just correct this spelling first as you can see here it's showing me all the people with the primary skill as social media manager these are all linkedin members that i can explore i can explore their profile and see what keywords they use in their profile and without even going and checking their linkedin profile here itself i'm getting so many ideas about their keywords like here you can see it's showing me social media manager social media manager at ibf net groups and when i scroll down i can see there are many keyword ideas senior sub editor and social media manager and many of them have also included the names of the companies you can also consider if you are working somewhere you can definitely include the company name that will also serve as your you know secondary keyword okay so when you scroll down a bit you will see this section as people also ask for this section is very important and you must note down all these relevant keywords because these are the keywords that people also search for okay 
सो सोशल मीडिया स्पेशलिस्ट मार्केटिंग सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कॉन्टेंट मार्केटिंग एंड मार्केटिंग मैनेजर एंड यू फाइंड दिस ऑप्शन अंडर द सेक्शन ऑफ पीपल ओनली ओके सो दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट वे टू फाइंड आउट द रेलिवेंट की वर्ड्स एंड योर प्राइमरी की वर्ड्स आफ्टर दैट वेन आई क्लिक हीयर यू कैन सी दीज मैनी फिल्टर्स आर अवेलेबल फॉर यू टू एड सो लेट मी शो यू बाई एडिंग द फिल्टर ऑफ जॉब्स सेम की वर्ड्स आई एम यूजिंग द सेम की वर्ड हीयर सो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन जॉब एंड सी Okay, now we can see that there are so many job options are available here. Okay, so let me click on this one, this job, to show you how to actually find the keywords from the job description. So click on this one. Let me click on this one. Yeah, you can see here. We are looking for freshers, zero to one years experience for a startup work from home. See again, work from home is also a relevant keyword. Like I explained you some time ago about the words like freelance, remote, or online opportunities. If you are looking for these kind of opportunities, you should definitely consider including these keywords in your LinkedIn profile. Okay, and knowledge of best practices for social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, etc. is a must. and roles and responsibility so these are the job responsibilities and you can consider these points while crafting your service section the services i offer section okay so i'm not going to read everything here i'm just giving you an overview of how you can actually find the keywords skills and qualification this is what i'm talking about so here you can see they are searching for the people with copywriting and content writing skills experience in creating social media strategies and crafting engaging content excellent verbal and written communication skills organized and able to multitask okay about the company you can go through the details so this is just an example to show you how can you actually find these keywords by adding the filter of jobs and similarly and you can also add the filter of services so this is actually the section in the profiles of linkedin users which list all the services they are actually offering so you can easily get the keywords to use in your service section from this providing services section so as soon as i applied this filter i can see so many results here with the service section you can see here now providing services sections are highlighted here so providing services social media marketing advertising mm -hmm. and the main skills are social media manager social media strategist social media marketing okay let's scroll down a bit to see more results as you can see here the main skill is social media strategist freelancer content marketer and google ads expert would be possible here but i don't want to open each and every profile it will consume a lot of time i just want to give you a quick overview of how you can actually do this so here again you can see providing services section with the with the keywords like social media marketing digital marketing and search engine optimization which are relevant to the main skill here the primary skill here again let's scroll down a bit here you can see social media manager providing services in social media marketing content marketing and virtual assistants again here social media marketing manager at vrevery.in okay again providing services section digital marketing social media marketing video production web design content marketing search engine optimization etc so let me show you where you can actually note down this keywords simply create a template like this in the google spreadsheet or excel sheet so i have just included here primary keywords or the keywords to be included in the linkedin headline secondary keywords 
people also search for my past jobs or my work preferences or services I offer. So if you note down all the keywords that you find or you get ideas about, it will be much easier for you to include these keywords while writing your LinkedIn headline or your LinkedIn summary or bio. So you can also create a simple template like this or you can add a few more columns as per your preferences or change the names of these as well. So let's move back to the topic. Okay. So if we click here, we also get an option to search by the names of companies. So if you are searching for the opportunities in a particular company or brand, you can use this feature. So the same keyword plus the filter of company. So when you select this option of companies, you get a few more filters here. You can select the location and here if you click on industries, it will give you further more options to apply and also the company size or else you can simply add the company name here to search for relevant job opportunities. So this is how this feature works. And besides all these options, you can use the feature from your LinkedIn profile as well. When you click here on this icon, you can view your profile, click on it. And when you scroll down, you will get the section of skills. So you can actually use these keywords as well to include in your LinkedIn headline and your LinkedIn bio. So don't worry because you might be thinking that why do we need to add these keywords again when this section is separately available? When these keywords are already listed in a separate category on your profile. See, nobody is going to check each and every section of your profile. If somebody want to just get a quick overview about you, they will just go through your LinkedIn profile. Suppose, for example, if I'm checking 10 profiles or 20 profiles, if I want to check 20 LinkedIn profiles, I won't be checking each and every section. So what I will do instead, I will just go to the person's LinkedIn bio and read about it. If everything is listed there, then it's very good for me. It will impress me. I will get all the information I require from that particular piece of about section or LinkedIn profile summary section itself. So it's a great idea to list everything together in your LinkedIn profile section to save the time of your clients or the visitors who are visiting your profile. I'm not saying nobody will look at other sections. Obviously, if they are interested in your LinkedIn bio, they will definitely scroll down and check each and every section of your profile. But to attract those visitors and to make them interested in your profile, you need to include all these important keywords in your LinkedIn profile and your headlines. So congratulations, we have now found all the LinkedIn keywords we want to include in our LinkedIn profile. Now, where should you include these keywords in your LinkedIn profile? So some of the best places to use these keywords in your LinkedIn profile are in your LinkedIn headline and in your LinkedIn profile summary or about section, obviously. And you can also make a category of services you offer like this. For example, I offer the services like blog post writing, ghost writing, ebook writing, sales page writing, Facebook and content writing, etc. Also, you can use your past job titles and company names as keywords. As I just showed you how to apply the filter of jobs on your LinkedIn profile. So you can use those titles to represent or to list down your past job titles. These keywords, these words could also serve as your relevant or secondary keywords. For example, if you have worked as a graphic designer for a company, let's say XYZ company. So if that is a well-known company that could also serve as a keyword, as a secondary keyword, a powerful keyword to attract the potential buyers or customers. Obviously, if you have worked at a renowned place, people will be interested in your profile and your previous job title would be a graphic designer here at XYZ company. And if you have worked as a proofreader, 
your previous job title would be a proofreader at xyz company so definitely you can take the ideas from the job sections when you will enter a keyword select the jobs and hit enter you will get so many good ideas from the linkedin itself and another way to use the keywords is make a section of the job roles or type of projects you are interested in these could be the opportunities you are interested in the type of work you are open to for example positions or roles i am interested in you can use such kind of subheadings or you can customize it as per your preference as content strategist content manager proofreader seo expert so basically you are telling here that my primary skill is this in your headline and in your linkedin summary you are introducing yourself using your primary skills and secondary skills and you are then listing down all your services the services you offer these are all your relevant keywords okay and you are also using your past job titles and company names as keywords to describe your experience after that you are also giving an overview an idea of what kind of opportunities or job roles you are interested in of course these sections will be separately available in your linkedin profile but including all these together will be a good idea and you must keep your linkedin bio short and concise as well so make sure you don't overload it okay and at the same time it should also well optimize and i will definitely show you how to actually write a well optimized linkedin summary as well as linkedin headline in the upcoming video so until now if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it right away and also hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video okay so that completes the video that completes the topic i hope you understood everything but if you still have any doubts you can definitely ask them in the comment section and that's it for today see you in another power packed video very soon and don't forget to hit the like button if you actually like the video and share the video as well it will actually inspire me to create such kind of tutorials okay so take care stay safe stay happy see you in the next video